Are you like most of my clients? You have awesome content and offers, but you don't have anybody to sell them to? Or maybe all the strategies you have used over the years are no longer working. You feel invisible and your list growth has stalled. When we feel invisible, we have to be willing to learn new strategies to get us to our next level. This is why I developed my Business Visibility Made Easy eight-week group coaching program. This is a live collaborative group coaching program designed to get your list growing now, and the doors are open for you to join us. I have heard from countless clients that they were considering shelving their dream of having an online business, and let me tell you, that hurts my heart. I was also tired of seeing list building courses that told me to pay for expensive ads or create more lead magnets. Aren't you? I just knew in my gut there had to be other ways to grow my list. And I was right. In my program, I teach you more than 10 strategies that I developed all by myself that get your list growth happening in the background of your business and a list of clients that will want to buy from you in only 60 days. I want to be your coach. Join me so we can increase your visibility and list growth quickly and with precision. I am very confident in my program and know that working with me is the answer you're looking for. Business Visibility Made Easy is the step-by-step -step system to grow an email list of your ideal clients without paid ads or more lead magnets. Go to tracybeavers.com forward slash BVME to check out all of the info on this program and hear from my past students why this program is the best investment they made all year. The doors are open now, but will close on October 20th. Do not sleep on your list growth this year. I cannot wait to be your coach and work side by side together. And now, on to the show. I'm invisible. I'm hearing crickets. My inbox is empty. No one is engaging on any of my stuff. Have you said anything like that lately? When I was just starting out in business, I said these things a lot. And it was super frustrating to try to find the key to break through this really crowded online space to get anybody to notice me, let alone opt in for any of my offers. Today's episode is a live training I did for my free Facebook group sharing what I have learned over the years, the secret to cracking this code, eliminating that frustration and those pesky crickets. Ready to grow your online business without losing your mind? You're in the right spot, my friend. Welcome to Create Your Online Business Success. I'm your host, Tracy Beavers, and this show is all about practical strategies, creative ideas, and sanity-saving solutions that you can use right now. Let's crank up the dial on your business growth and make it fun. Let's create your online business success. Happy Friday Eve day to everybody. And I've just mentioned to you how I do things around here. Here on my laptop, I'm using StreamYard to go live in my Facebook group my YouTube channel, and LinkedIn. YouTubers, smash that subscribe button. LinkedIners, if that's a word, well, it is now because I just made it one. I want you to hit that bell next to my name that's on my LinkedIn profile so we can stay connected. Today, here's what we're talking about. If you are feeling invisible and it's crickets in your social media, in your DMs, in your inbox, I have the solution for you. And I think you're going to be really surprised. But first, just in case we are brand new to each other, I am Tracy Beavers. I'm an award-winning business and sales coach with over 20 years of experience in marketing, sales, and business growth. And several years ago, I became completely fed up with my corporate career, and I hatched a plan to fully exit. And once I did, I busted through the six-figure ceiling in my second full year of business, and I haven't looked back. And if you're building your business alongside your full-time job and you're wanting to fully exit, or maybe you're already a solopreneur and you're wanting to get to your next level of income, I share that with you because you can do this. If I can do it, you can too. You can build a multi-six-figure business just like I have. I teach all organic visibility and list growth strategies, and I've coached hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you to get visible and grow your email lists so you can get that consistent monthly income you really, really want. And if you're thinking you want to hire a coach to guide you, roadmap your pri priorities and your strategies, DM me or email me. Let's set a free coffee chat. Let's talk about it. If you want one-to-one -one coaching, I've got that. I also have 90-minute laser focus sessions and now the brand new 45-minute one-to-one -one sessions. Just great to get a couple of things off your chest and get moving and get some traction in your business. 
I want you to pop your questions and comments into the chat for me. I'm going to look at all that at the end so I don't get distracted. And if you guys are watching on replay, I love replayers. Comment with your question if you have one, or just let me know you're here. All right, let's dive into today's, today's topic because I've heard from you guys all week when we announced this topic, how excited you are about it. I know this is how you're feeling, and I'm so excited to bring you a solution. So what is the solution that I'm talking about? What is the key to getting more visibility online, more connections, more engagement, more email list growth, because you know that's what I teach, more buyers, and shall we say, having more fun? I mean, let's not leave the fun out of it, right? Why are we building this business if it's not going to be enjoyable? The key, the solution is you. It's you, my friend. And before you turn this off, before you fire me, I want you to hear me out. The solution lies in your actions. What I mean by this is, are you going first when it comes to engagement? Are you engaging first? Are you being social first? Are you networking first or are you sitting in front of your laptop waiting for people to come to you? Tough love if they're not going to. If you want to make friends, you first have to be a friend. You've probably heard that since you were a little kid. The same goes in this online space. We cannot be wallflowers and expect people to just find us. This online space is too crowded. It's too loud. There's too much competition. It doesn't work that way. A few years ago, it worked that way. It no longer does. It's navigating this loud, crowded space. If we're going to be seen, heard, and hired, we have to be sure we're doing everything we can to control this narrative. And that means being proactive about engaging with other people. And listen, I know this is the solution because I have felt the crickets and I've asked myself, literally asked myself, looking in the mirror, am I invisible? I'm like looking in the mirror to make sure. I have felt everything that you all are feeling and I have felt that I was trying everything I could, but it wasn't until I realized that I really wasn't actually doing everything I could that was in my control to turn this tide around in my favor. It wasn't until I got really real with myself and I had an honest sit down chat with myself. And that's what I want to share with you today. You have the power to turn the tide in your favor. We have to go first. We have to take the bull by the horns, take the initiative and engage first. So what do I mean by this? Let me ask you some questions. When was the last time that you sent a DM to your clients? When was the last time you sent a DM to one of your email subscribers? If you have a free Facebook group like I do, which by the way, you should be in it if you're not, it's called Be a Confident Entrepreneur, Get Visible, Grow Your Email List and Your Income. Come join us. If you have a free Facebook group like I do, when was the last time you sent DMs to your group members to just check in on them, see how they're doing, ask them how things are going for them? Social media is called social for a reason. It is a two-way street not a one-way street. That's not the way it was designed. The algorithm does not reward one-way street people. The algorithm rewards people that are willing to be social and no one is going to engage with you or know you exist if you don't engage with them first. It's just like making friends. It's just like building and maintaining relationships in life. Those are two-way streets, right? So social media, social, and relationships are the same two-way street. Being visible online is all about making connections. And I'm talking about genuine connections. You know me, you know I'm all about building a business with authenticity and ease and genuine connections. I'm not talking about cold spammy DMs. Do not do that. That is not a good practice. I don't know who's still teaching that strategy, but it makes my heart hurt. But I digress. I'm talking about genuine connections, good old-fashioned networking, and seeing where these connections lead. And if you have followed me for any length of time, you know what I'm going to say about networking and making connections. It's exciting. Why is it exciting? You're thinking, why is it so freaking exciting, Tracy? Because we never, ever know where that next connection that we make might lead us. Could that person want to hire us? Could that person be the person we want to hire? Could we collaborate and each of us grows our audience through the other person? Could we connect that person with a really cool collaboration opportunity? And could they connect us 
with a really cool collaboration opportunity. I mean, the possibilities are endless, and that is why I find it exciting and kind of thrilling to meet new people. But we have to go first. Liking, commenting, leaving thoughtful comments. Let's talk about that for a second. Don't just comment, way to go, or now I'm guilty of it too if I'm in a hurry, just, you know, or a smiley face or whatever. Leave a thoughtful comment on somebody's social media post. Liking, commenting, thoughtful comments, engaging, being present, being visible, sending friend requests, having genuine DM conversations, asking for coffee chats, attending networking sessions where we then follow up. Don't just attend a networking session, whether in person or online virtual, and expect people to reach out to you. They're not going to do it. You have to go first. When you sit back, you are leaving the control of the growth of your business in the hands of other people. That's a mistake. Take control of your business growth and invite them to a coffee chat to see where you guys could help each other. And when you are liking and commenting on social media, that's what the algorithm loves. The algorithm begins to understand, first of all, the algorithm begins to see you as a social person and they re the algorithm rewards when you do what the algorithm wants, which is being social. And it begins to understand what you want to see, who you want to engage with. This grows your reach and you start to be served up to more people just like the ones you're engaging with. They see you, you see them, and you like, comment, engage. They begin to do the same with you because they begin to see you, hear you. And once they get to know you, they can hire you or refer you or ask you to collaborate or introduce you to your next best connection. Do you see how this works? I want to share my experience with you guys over the last few months because it's kind of blown my mind. I've always been a master networker. I always have. Yes, it comes easy to me because I could talk to a brick wall. So if you're introverted, I want you to know this can still work for you. You just kind of have to get outside your comfort zone a little bit. But here's what happened to me. I decided at the start of this summer, I was going to dial up my visibility. I'm a visibility and list growth strategist. Got to dial it up sometimes. I wanted to get into some new rooms, some different rooms, different communities, new communities, meet some different people because the communities and the groups and the rooms I've been in over the past few years are great. I haven't left them, but I feel like I've kind of exhausted the efforts there. Let's just say I need to get into a new room and make some new connections. So I told myself at the beginning of the summer, that was going to be a focus. Weeks ago, I learned about this great women's networking group. It's free. I attended a session, and as I know to do, I wrote down the name and social media handle of every person that was on that call because they were sharing their social media handles in the chat because the network, the person that put together the networking session said to everybody, networking works after this session is over. Go connect with people. So that's what I was going to do. So I took note of that. I reached out on social media. I sent them a DM that said something like, great to connect with you. We were both in the XYZ networking session today. I would love to get to know you and your business. If you love coffee chats like I do, want to set one? Pro tip, always end your DM in a question mark. It prompts the other person's brain to answer you. If I just made a statement like, I love coffee chats, um, let's, let's set one up sometime, period. That person would think, okay, well, she'll get back with me. No, no, no. I want them to get back with me. So I'm going to make it a question mark. All right. This sparks their brain to comp be compelled to engage and answer. So I set some coffee chats. I got to know some great women in the online space. I learned the other places. They are also doing networking for free. I signed up for those free networking sessions. I attended. I engaged in it. I took notes on who was in the room, what kind of business they had, how to connect with them after the call. I sent them DMs and connected. I set more coffee chats. I learned more about more women doing business in this online space. And I learned more about where they were networking. Do you see this massive snowball that happened for me? Before I realized what happened, I had a list of great places to network with awesome women building online businesses just like me. Brand new rooms, brand new communities for me to engage in, have fun in, meet more people. And you guys, all of this happened in less than 30 days. Did it take some time? Yeah. Did it take me being in, 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 intentional? You betcha. You betcha it did. But 
time and intention, patience and consistency are what grow our businesses. Do you see how my world just exploded? My, com- my These new rooms, new people exploded. Do you see how going first completely snowballs? It snowballs you with reach on social media, more people seeing you, engaging with you, sharing ideas like networking, and you are helping each other. Going first, making connections, being engaged on social media needs to be a daily habit for it to serve us. It has to be something you have on your radar to keep up the consistency. And you hear me say this all the time. I just said it a minute ago. Patience and consistency are your best friends for business growth. But this needs to be a daily practice and something you are intentional about. And you and listen, you can't again, you can't just show up to the in-person networking event or the virtual Zoom networking session and sit there and not say anything and not share your social media handles and not take a screenshot or write down everybody that's there and follow up with them. If you're not going to do that, don't go to the networking session little tough love there, but you're wasting your time if that's what you're going to do. So I'm going to challenge you. My clients and students know that I love to toss out a challenge. It's what's, what I'm known for in coaching, and it's what keeps you moving. I want you to tell me in the comments one thing you are willing to commit to today that you are going to do once every day. Will you go onto your social media platform of choice and leave thoughtful comments for other people? Will you send some friend requests and book some coffee chats? Will you attend a virtual networking session and then book more coffee chats from those? What's one thing? I want you to write it down, put it on a sticky note, put it in the comments. One thing you are willing to commit to and think about every day for, let's say, the next two weeks. Because this is going to blow your business wide open. And when it does, I want you to DM me or email me and tell me all about it. I have a free guide that is going to help you guys have more confidence when it comes to those authentic DM conversations that I was talking about. Those DM conversations that are authentic and genuine. They actually lead somewhere. It's not cold spammy weirdness. Go to tracybeavers.com forward slash DM to grab that. You do not have to be a spammy weirdo to send a DM, I promise. And here's the here's one of the tips I'm going to give you from that training. For some reason, when we move from in-person stuff to online stuff, being in a Zoom room, virtual and all that, or being on Facebook, for some reason, our brain thinks that it's different and that the, the conversation is different. And we suddenly are at a loss for words. Well, what do I say in the DMs? Well, what do I say online? Well, what do I, what do I say? What would you say if I was sitting in front of you in a coffee shop? What would you say to me if we met at a chamber of commerce lunch? The conversation is the same. It's the location of the conversation that has changed. So your conversation is going to be the same in the DMs. You want to end it in a question mark if you want to keep the conversation going. But that's the, the it's the geography. All right. So I'm going to get off my soapbox on that. Okay. So I'm going to go over and check the chat really fast. Uh, Beverly said, yuck, yuck to spammy DMs. Yes, I totally, totally agree with you. All right. Sheila said, a thoughtful comment a day on each platform. I love that. Marie said, nice kick in the pants. Love it. I do like to kick y'all in the pants every now and then. All right. Replayers, if you have any questions for me, you just reach out and let me know. Here's what I want you guys to do now. First of all, go grab my free guide, tracybeavers.com forward slash DM. D like dog, M like Mary. And if you're not a member of my free Facebook group, you need to be. It is the most beautiful community on Facebook, actual collaboration, actual support. I have had people tell me a couple of different times this week, your group is one of the only groups where people actually pay attention to each other and care. I love that. You can ask questions if you're stuck. You can ask for coffee chats. You can ask who knows who and who can introduce me to so-and-so that I'm trying to meet. We have experts on every topic and the members in my group, they lead with their heart. It is a great place to do exactly what we talked about today, practicing engaging, practicing asking for coffee chats with a group that is safe to practice on because those members know and are listening to this training today and they're going to be trying to do the same thing. So y'all set some coffee chats and practice networking with each other. Search for Be a Confident Entrepreneur, get visible, grow your email list and your income, or just Be a Confident Entrepreneur over on Facebook in groups. Um, hit the the link in the comment and in the the uh, you, in the comment on Facebook and in the YouTube show notes, 
and you're in like Flynn. Be here live with me every Thursday at 1130 Central. I want you to put it on your calendar. I want you to make it a priority. And remember, don't go it alone. You hear me say this every single week, and I mean it. I will say it until I am retired. Being an entrepreneur is freaking hard. It is. It is a roller freaking coaster. Some days it feels really great to be on the roller coaster. It's exhilarating. Other days you feel like you are going to toss your cookies into your shoes and you don't know if you can stay on the ride. Am I right? I know, I know I'm right. So don't go it alone. If you think you're alone feeling that way, you are not. I've coached way too many people and talked to way too many people to know that that is the truth. You are not alone. Doesn't matter if you're just starting out or you're 15 years in and making a gazillion dollars. We all feel that way. Get into a community of support and kindness where people have your back and will cheer you on. And I want you to have a great balance of the week and weekend. And remember, when one of us rises, we all rise. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Create Your Online Business Success. I hope you found today's episode packed with actionable tips and inspiration. And listen, if you want to dive even deeper with me and connect with a community of like-minded entrepreneurs that totally get you and understand what you're building, then join us in my free Facebook group. You get to promote your offers anytime, network with other entrepreneurs just like you, and possibly find some lucrative collaborations. Just search for Be a Confident Entrepreneur, get visible, grow your email list and your income over in Facebook. Or if it's easier, just click the link in the show notes. We cannot wait to welcome you in. Let's stay connected so we can create your online business success together.